Alright, what's up guys? We're Faction here with another tutorial. This time it's Cinema 4D. This is the basic way I like to do my 3D text and add a little animation to it. So start off by going to MoGraph text object and type what you want. I'm going to use Aneve, the intro I made for him basically because his name is shorter and it'll be quicker. So I'll just use Babis, but normally I won't. Then position it how you want it. I usually turn my depth up to. No, wow. That's way too much. 50. I go over to caps. Put both to fillet, fillet caps. Put 7 for the steps for both and 10 for both the radiuses. But this is basically your preference how you want your text. I like mine this way. Alright, let me just render this out. Alright, let me just add a little background. Add a sky, I don't care. Alright. You can't really notice right there. You can notice a little depth with the B because of the caps. But if I rotate it, you can see a lot better. Alright, so it's got a little depth to it. And secondly, what I like to do is... Oh, whoops. Uh, I go to sh File Shader... Nuki, and then what I do is I change the color of the diffuse A to a reddish color, a darkish red, to something like that, and I take off the reflection, specular 3, and 2, or mi you can keep 2 on, it gives it a little more 3D depth because of the shine like the glare of it so I'm just gonna turn it off for now just leave it and drag on the material uh... actually I'll add it It, yeah alright let me see that rendered okay that looks better see the, sh the little shine you get on the edges which gives you the more 3D depth feel but I'm going to make that a little lighter for red. Let's see. Right there. Okay. Render that out. Alright, we're looking good. So, basically, what you want to do is now rotate it so you see the front side view, basically. You want to click. Oh, wait, hold on. Position yourself so you got it in about the middle. And you got more of the shine, so it's more of a 3D depth, and you're not even on an angle, so it's good. Then you want to click that little button, which means it makes it editable. And click on your individual letter, click the rotate, and then just rotate however you want it. This is my way of doing the animation. I'm going to just do this quick. This is what I did for, did for a Neebs intro, the same idea, basically. Except maybe a little different with the rotates, obviously. Uh, turn that up a little bit. Uh, just fool around with how you want to rotate it. Don't worry, you'll get it back easily after. Alright, whatever, that's fine. Okay, now, I'm not going to do the camera, this tutorial. So, I'm just going to have it how I want it. And st I set keyframe. This is how it's going to start. Then by, let's say, 90 frames, turn on auto key, go to your letters in the text object, find your A, bring down the rotation to 0, P to 0, etc., etc., I missed the name, my bad. Alright, that's basically it. Now I got it auto keyed. 
So, if I play it back, it's going to start off like this. Slowly start turning around and flip back. So, yep. And if you want to add a camera, what you do is you go up to light, camera, go to cameras, scene, and then camera. And then you would set a keyframe for how you want your camera to be looking at the text. I'll say about that right there. So, turn off auto key for now. And this is for camera. Make sure you have camera clicked. Set a keyframe and say by 30 frames. Just turn on auto key. Then do this little zoom tool. And you just zoom in to your text as much as you want. It might take a little bit. So, basically, there. That's how it's going to look. So. I actually did add some camera in this, so play it back, it zooms in, stops, and then the text rotates up, and yep, that's basically it. Your text will have that shiny feel right there, it gives it a more depth with the 3D. So basically, that's the tutorial, more to come, please uh, rate, comment, request more tutorials, all that stuff. Alright, thanks, bye.